The kingdoms of Gardania and Cyprus have joined their armies to battle the evil Io. We'll now offer a human sacrifice to Iom. To Iom, our evil ruler, your servant, Wanderer, offers you the blood of royalty. Accept my offering. No, stop. I'm still the king. I'll not stand for this. I demand that you release me at once. Quiet! You disgust me. Iom deserves royal blood. You'll become one with our deity. You ought to be grateful. Oh, truly evil Prince of Darkness, accept our sacrifice! Stop! Spare me! Stop! Wah! Barbara, update me on the latest information you have on Cyprus. Things are going according to plan. They're marching towards Irom, unaware of the trap we set for them. They think they can triumph over us. What misguided fools. What about the Gardania army? Don't worry about them. By the time they are ready to march, the Cyprus army will already be on their way. Very good news, Barbara. Do you have anything to add, Solo? Sir, the fort on the Algram Plains is close to completion. We'll also surround the fort with traps. All we must do now is to wait for the Cyprus army. Hmm. Good work, Solo. Now, all we need is the Sword of Hyja. How shall we do that? Gordon, where is Gordon? You summon me, sir? I'm at your service. Gordon, you know Prince Nick of Cyprus better than any of us. Will the Prince lead his army even without the support of Guardiana? Not to worry, sir. He's a man of honor. Even if his right hand has turned to stone, he'll come. Since his right hand is useless, would he bring his sword? Gordon, here are your orders. After the Cyprus army leaves their castle, raid it and bring me the sword of Hyja. Sir, as you wish. Barbara, Solo, go with him. Yes, sir. Sir. By the way, Hindle, accept my condolences. Sir. I heard that your younger brother died at the hands of a lowly swordsman. It couldn't be helped. The law of the land states, if one is unable to protect oneself, one deserves to die. You're absolutely correct about that. Just remember that power is the key. Power is what we need the most. More power! <laughs> you made it back. You're a little late. We were almost overrun by Runafost. We held them off, but we've suffered greatly, as you'll see as you wander around. Most of our knights were lost in the battle. Many homes were damaged, but we held. We'll keep watch here. Runafoss is bound to attack again sooner or later. We'll keep watch here. Runafoss is bound to attack again sooner or later. Don't worry about your comrades. We've sent them to headquarters. Their commander, Cain of Runafoss, evil to the core. I wanted to fight, but my legs were shaking so hard I I I I got dizzy and passed out. Praise the light that's over. Monsters fighting. I can't take much more of this. We almost lost. I still don't know why they pulled back.
No one is in that direction. No one is in that direction. Those beasts, I'll have nightmares forever. Hand Axe Techniques, Hunt for the Axe of Legend, and many more books. Woof! Woof! I sent my family away, but I stayed and fought. Disciplining children, home accounting, and many more books. Welcome, Max Stone. Those vile Runa Fosters have me mad. I have weapons guaranteed to knock those monsters' head off. Take a look. What would you like? So in these Let's Plays, I'm not going to show item management. I don't need to waste your time with that. I don't plan to show item management too much, and uh, I'm not going to show buying weapons and all that kind of stuff. And if I ever grind, I'm not going to show that. I, ho I don't think I'm grinding, but... Just buying a few medical herbs, but my, my intention is not to show a lot of that inventory management stuff. You know, that little Farrakis made me want to fight again, Max Stone. I'm joining up. Yes, Gork joins the Shining Force. Yeah. I'll be back at headquarters. Die, Lottie. Those monsters would have wrecked my shop, but the old guy drove them off. We, we won this time, but what about the next attack? <coughs> <coughs> Nothing is unusual. Welcome, Max Stone. I've been expecting you. How can I help you in the Shining Force? Saving the game, yes. I'm going to save my voice for the battle scene. So, I'll I'll uh, talk more when I get when we get to the battle scene towards the latter part of the video.
I do want to point out that power potions, and then there's like a defense potion, they permanently increase certain stats. So a power potion permanently increases strength by two points, and a defense potion will permanently increase defense by two points. So I think I had my leader, Max, take the power potion, and the defense potion was given to Tau to make her a little bit less of a glass cannon. So... Um, because it, you know, like, there's certain characters that you definitely want to level up. And mages and wizards are one of them because they learn powerful area effect magic that can affect many enemies at once. So they're a prime candidate to try to get extra levels. And you, you want your hero to be strong for obvious reasons because if your hero dies or your leader dies, that's it, game over.
Max Stone, enemies await you on the road to Alteron. Take all precautions. Alright, here we go. The third battle. And I'm speeding it up. 50%. Probably one of the longest videos I've made. It's 40 minutes. But I'm gonna speed it up. Um, so basically, the bats have high evade. They're not too dangerous, but they have a pretty good chance of evading your attacks. So they're just kind of annoying. Um, the main the main focus in this battle is you want to just pull the different groups. So right now I'm just focusing on the bats, and uh, you want to pull different groups. So first I'm gonna cross the cross the river and do the two bats. Then I'm going to proceed north, take on the Dark Wars. Then we're going to hit the bats in the northwest. Then finally the five Rune Knights. So just some housekeeping stuff. I'm going on a little vacation, so... I uh, won't be making another video until Thursday at the earliest. Today's Sunday. Um, yeah, it'll be Thursday at the earliest that I make another video. So, hope you enjoy. Now, I believe Magic Evade is different. Um, and actually, I think in this game, Magic Spells don't miss at all. So, Magic Spells are an excellent choice to use on enemies that have high Evade, like those bats. Cause I, cause I, now that I think about it, I, I don't think you can dodge Magic in this game. So, ma Magic is guaranteed damage. Um, in other games, you can still dodge Magic attacks, but in this game... Now that I think about it, I don't think I've ever once seen a magic spell be deflected. Or So ma when you use magic, it's guaranteed damage. So magic is the perfect thing to use on enemies like those bats with high evade. Also, it goes without saying, but any ranged character, you want to try to always take advantage of that range. And... Never be adjacent when you attack with a ranged character because then you could you could be counterattacked because there's a possibility you double strike, there's a possibility you critical hit, and there's a possibility an enemy can counterattack. So when you have a ranged unit, you always want to try to make sure you're two spaces away so that the the melee enemy cannot cannot possibly counterattack. Because so far, I mean, we've only faced um four different types of enemies so far, and they've all been melee fighters. And there hasn't even, there, there will eventually be enemy archers and enemy spellcasters, but so far it's only been adjacent melee fighters. And uh, honestly, we've only faced four different types of enemies so far. The, the goblins, the dark dwarves, the rune knights, and now the giant bats. And that's it so far. So I did really well in this fight, didn't lose a single character, um, just being cautious. Because uh, I'd say one of the biggest mistakes is if you have send one character off to get surrounded, so 
you want to make a measured advance towards the enemy. Um, if you just move as far as you can, then they're going to be um, uh, surrounded. And try to pull different groups of enemies at once, so that's a good idea too.
So I decided to do the last little bit at 1x speed, because now we're just facing the Rune Knights. The toughest fight yet, but again, it's just a lot of strategy. Like, you want to try to take them down, um, focus on one until it's dead, because a Rune Knight that has one HP is still going to do as much damage as one that has 14 HP, so you want to concentrate on eliminating them one at a time, but but sometimes, because uh, defeated enemies are worth more experience, sometimes you want to farm the experience out, so you have to make these decisions on the fly, because sometimes you want to save weakened enemies for weak characters to try to gain them levels, um, and not always strictly just eliminate the enemy as fast as possible, or else you're going to end up with characters that are really strong and characters that are really weak, so... You want to try to balance out the experience levels, because in this game, defeating an enemy, the enemy's worth way more experience if you land a killing blow. Excellent! Kane will have to do better than that to get you to stop. On to Adarone. Alright, that's it. Battle 3 is completed. Stay tuned. Yeah.